Taylor in a point guard. And for the Celtics, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Chris Depp's Brzingis is out there with Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. Take a look at Boston. Down 2-9. They got a win tonight to get some traction in the shoot. And if they lose this one, you can forget about advancing. Then it's more likely you're trying to sure, avoid a foul. sweep. Taylor. So tonight's all First, or nothing. Personal foul. Oh, they've got their First eyes on him. Foul. Calling the foul right away. To the 10. I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Inside. So hard to guard him without fouling fouling sometimes. Lamar Brown Lamar doesn't Lamar mind getting a little contact on his way out. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line, Jalen Brown. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Taylor who brings the ball up for Chicago. Williams passes to Taylor. And now White pushing it up and no one back to stop him. Can't hit that one. Nice Steve from Levine. Here's Taylor. Rebounded by the Celtics. They need to put the big loss on Tuesday in the back of their mind. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys are defending. Taylor. Obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Well, they weren't fighting through screens. Their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they did do it on defense. How oh, did no one around him? Again, the miss by the Celtics. Oh, the line to DeRozan. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. The Celtics have gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. DeRozan against Brown. Outside, Brzingis. Gets it to go from beyond the up. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Fires for three. And that drops in from beyond the arc. Three points from Taylor. Taylor's got seven points in the game. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. against Taylor. Steps back and fires. DeRozan with the rebound. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their Jordan first five Taylor. shots. That makes his four friend. out of five. He's Patrick getting to his Williams. spots and just going to work right now. Taylor against Holiday. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. Here's Taylor. Boston foul. Chicago Taylor. shooting their first free throws of the game. First, personal the first one falls. First team foul. Shooting the first And Taylor drops them both. And so White will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Six-point game. Outside Tatum. Brown finds White. Out to Porzingis. They need this. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They say it's a make or miss league, and there are some times that you, you miss. Here's Levine. One up, one down. Two Levine. points with his first shot this, this game. Goes to nice play. Taylor. And you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. And oh, here we go. DeRozan. No. And finish off by DeRozan. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. They came out and rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way. Coach to once again for 
These players can cut out and shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. And you look at the natural, one of the best shooters in the NBA, top five in the league at this moment. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. Brown outside. Rocket six. 20 feet out. And that one off the back in the rear end. And it's clear that Tatum loves the mid-range. Excels at recognizing when to shoot from there. Taylor taking his time here. Another three for Chicago. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Celtics trail by 11. Up top, Brown. DeRozan defending. Got a piece of it. Holiday with the three. It's all in by the Bulls. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. Taylor. And again, it's Taylor. the Bulls from deep. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. There's Brown with the three. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Love the response by Brown. Marching right back down and dropping in his own three. Here's Taylor. And a miss there on the triple. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Tatum with it. Williams picks him up. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two on the floor. What muscle on that finish. It's hard trying to prevent Tatum from converting. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. DeRozan. DeRozan's got his second bucket of the game to go. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Brown outside. No good on the three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, he should have done more on that last play. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the deep, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. Outside, Brzingis. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. And the screen. And that's his second foul committed. Coming on to the pool. Got to be careful. Sam the Celtics Hoser. making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Porzingis. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Tatum down low, working on Williams. Tatum no good. Bulls leading by 13. Rosen dishes to Tatum. Let's the three fly. Rebound by Drew Holiday. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up to the Boston Celtics. Here's Hauser. He's off on that one. Ice D from Levine. Chicago has gone three of five from three point land so far in the ballgame. Here's Taylor. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Taylor's got 21 in the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. Hello. And Coach knows Celtic. when it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Now a timeout called by Boston. Trying to find some answers. Offensive. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try to draw something up that can get a look at the basket. So it's Boston now. Down by 12. 
The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Made him out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. And it's Brown missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Taylor. Taylor's shot, good. It's almost like he had a bird's eye view of the court. DeRozan always knows where his teammates are. Outside, White passes to Tatum. Puts up a three. The three is drilled by Tatum. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Here's Taylor. And they come Taylor. right back with their own three-pointer. Taylor's got five points now in the quarter. Celtics trail by 14. And White kicks to Holiday. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. For Boston, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's White. Vucevic with the block. Powerful swap by Vuce, showing how effective he can be on D. And it's Taylor finishing it off. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Here's Brown. Five points in the game. Three-pointer. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got six rebounds now in the game. Holiday against Taylor. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. So good. Getting the block there. You can work with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. The Bulls making a switch here. Levine's checked in. Celtics trail by 18. Outside Holiday. And just miss after miss right now. He's just basically a body out there right now. Nothing else. The team is struggling, and he hasn't been able to help them out at all. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alden. Hi, Kevin. Well, the natural in the last outing against Boston put on a show. He scored an amazing number of points, and he reached that total with some superb shooting from deep. Just a fantastic night for him. The guy he wants to have every night, I'm sure. Guys? Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. And it's very likely that he and his guys can carry that momentum into this Taylor. Taylor's shot Assisted. good. Yeah, that was the DeMar first DeRozan. great high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start Boston. putting bodies Time on bodies. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm and sure the coach is going to give oh, them an earful so about that. Can't be happy with that soft interior D. Tatum finds Holiday. And the natural is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul second of the game. Personal foul. That's his second foul First here pretty foul. early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. Holiday still without a basket. Outside Porzingis. Six on the shot clock. Back to Brown. For the three. Hands it from downtown. Brown's got eight. Once a weakness in Brown's arsenal. Now he's a legitimate threat to burn you from deep. Pass to Taylor. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Excellent D there from Holiday. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Here's Levine. The teardrop falls in. Such a difficult player to guard. Levine is gifted at converting these little difficult floaters as well. On the wing, Holiday. 
driving to the basket. Really puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Boston. And two free throws coming up. Unable Rude to get that one to go with all the first, contact. First team yeah, the defender all first team foul. For Chicago, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And Taylor drops them both. And here's Holiday. Pass to White. Brown outside. Shot clock at six. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Oh, ten points for him. Check out Brown keeping his composure. He doesn't let the hand in his face throw him off. Taylor against Howard. Taylor inside. 32 points in the game. Holiday with the defensive effort. A 17 footer. And the shot is good. The Chicago Jason. Wings have been down now to just 11 on the basket from Tatum. His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. Taylor against Holiday. A three ball. And Tatum pulls it down. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap and making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Savvy play Timeout. from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Timeout called the Bulls. And trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty sure. Here's a peek at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Second, Nikola Vucevic. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. And there's the pass to DeRozan. On the wing, Levine. Back to Taylor. Holiday with the block. An aggressive Nikola defender. Vucevic. Pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. To the paint. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Oh, and two batters into his oh, own game. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Sometimes that's how it goes. That is good. And the Bulls lead has got to just seven on the basket from Drew Holiday. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. To the middle. Here's Taylor. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7 6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big time shot. Patrick Williams. He's checked in for those two. Bold substitution. Patrick Williams. Boston's gotten gold from deep in the second quarter. Just. Two of six from long range. Out left of the wing. Back to Tatum. We talked about Tatum's offense and for good reason, but his play in the defensive end is really valuable for this team. Third team ball. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Jason Tatum. First free throw is good. Substitution the Chicago Bulls, bringing the That's quarter the of the quarters with a seven point. With the score, resulting 53. The Bulls, 60. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from game three. What can you say? The natural and impressive effort here today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't Rolling change their approach in the, the second half, three. Yeah, let's just say his success will continue. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. Star pair of Levine and DeRozan are your wingmen. Vucevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. And it's Taylor in at the one. 
down low. There's Levine and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Feeds it to Holiday. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Three seconds. Chicago ball. Levine looking around. That one goes. Counting. And that's now 37 points for the natural. Levine. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking him right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the floor. Tatum's shot is off. Chicago leading by 12. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Taylor. And Boston with the rebound. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. And he banks in the lane. Holiday's got 10 points. Oh, a nifty finisher. He didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Taylor. He gets that one. And the Bulls lead by 12. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Tatum down low. He's guarded by Williams. Now here's Taylor. The fast break opportunity. Never afraid of getting physical with the defense. Taylor he welcomes any chance he can to get to that foul. The Bulls have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Chicago, Zach Levine. And so Levine nails both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the strike. I hope I didn't jinx him. Vucevic against Porzingis. Holiday, 10 points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Down kicks to Holiday. Knocked away. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Textbook defense take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. And the shot goes down. 41 points for the natural. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. It's a 16-point game. There's the dish to Brown. Passes it to White. Offensive rebound. Off with the layup. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Taylor's shot Jordan. good. Taylor. And it just seems Assisted that every pass they make is leading the to a score. Just great ball movement. For Boston, they've gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. Round against DeRozan. Tatum's shot is off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. White against Levine. Back to Taylor. This one for three. And Boston with the rebound. Tatum's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, they're... Offense has ground to a standstill. Holiday, the pass to White. The Celtics working the ball around now. Porzingis can't hit. Chicago leading by 18. To the inside. And finished off by DeRozan. Getting up there with the slam. DeMar DeRozan leaves nothing to chance. Boston's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Boston. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You look at the natural. He's been playing really well. They have to come up with a new wrinkle defensively because he is killing them. Here we go, fans. Time to make some noise for Boston's own Celtics Entertainment. Alex Caruso. He's checked in for the Bulls.
Tatum on the wing. DeRozan defending. Here's Holiday. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lack of accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping him alive. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. The kick out to Brown. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Brown's got 13. There is zero hesitation from Brown. This man is always ready to fire. To the paint. And Taylor with the stuff. He found his groove right away and hasn't let up. It's not surprising that he's leading the way on offense. Celtics trail by 21. What's the road? Now here's Tatum. 15 points in the game. Over in the corner, Brown. And again, Boston with the triple. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. And good, he hits it again. My goodness, 50 for the eight. Yep, he is putting on a show. Taylor dishes two to Rosen. Takes a three. Shot by Taylor, no good. Austin's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Outside Holiday, DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. Another miss from him, struggling to find his rhythm. 13 feet away. Out to Taylor, the three. Rebound by Drew Holiday. Holiday's got five rebounds tonight. Right the basket, right? And too much time in the lane. They get called the for the three three second violation. violation. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leader. And you look at the natural. Currently fifth in the league in assists. Such court vision. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. at the elbow. The shot from the low post is good. DeRozan. DeRozan's got six in the quarter. And the strength of DeRozan is evident on these takes. Shrugging off defenders like it's absolutely nothing. Like they're not even there. Outside, Brzingis. Pass to Brown. There's the triple. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Outside, Taylor. They grab their own miss. In the corner, it's Levine. Three-pointer. Shot by Taylor, no good. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Back to Levine. Outside, Taylor. DeRozan against Helen. Bucket is good. DeMar DeRozan's got 12. That guy is perfect from the field, making major contributions to this lead. And the Nationals going to pick up the foul. That's his fourth foul in the contest. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it. This on the court. Austin making some changes. Art comes in for Jason Tatum. And it's Pritchard in for Drew Holiday. Andre Drummond's checked in for Chicago. And the whistle blows. It's going to be in DeMar DeRozan. Chicago on defense to stop the drought. A shot by Pritchard, no good. From past the arc, and that Taylor. will fall. A three-pointer on the line from Taylor. Taylor's got 53. Well, he scored over half their points so far. Just an unbelievable effort. Oh, the lob to DeRozan. Oh, and the Lamar jam by DeRozan. DeRozan. Great Assist teamwork to leading to some exciting Taylor. offense. DeRozan showing us how it's done with the alley-oop. 
White against Brown. And there's the foul. foul. It's on Peyton wrong. Pritchard. Peyton That's Pritchard. his first foul. This first game is going to get foul. even more out first of hand foul. unless they start valuing the basketball. And Chicago shooting in the third quarter has been growing up around 58%. And some nice Shoot ball movement here by Chicago. It's tipped. Two minutes. The Celtics shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. As to Cornette. Inside. Here's Clark. Misses off the right eye. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Pritchard passes to Brown. That's tipped. It's stolen by Taylor. Here's the break. Here's White. And good that time. White. White's got seven. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Chicago. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And they've also forced a lot of turnovers, capitalizing and turning those turnovers into points. Way to get after it. And they get it back. Here's Taylor. It's another look. And there's the nice Andre layup by Drummond. Drummond. Pursues the offensive glass with purpose. Drummond knows who he is. And boy, does he attack it. To the middle. Stolen away. And the Nationals going to pick up a foul. foul. That's Taylor. his fifth foul. Fifth and it's personal clear foul. He's been a little out of control here tonight. The refs clearly have their eyes on, on him. And that's number five. Delano Benton's checked in for Boston. And Chicago also making a switch. Williams, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. Brown outside. Over to the wing. Here's Benton. Right covering. Clark. Off the mark and the drop continues. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Taylor with the ball. Up in time. And that one released in time, but no good. And at the end of the third, of the third quarter, a huge lead. And this one may already have been decided. 63. It's Chicago opening up a huge game. And we've got... Keep pointing now. We're doing a much better job. And here we go. Getting back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Final. And it's Pritchard in at the point. That's the Boston Five. Puts up a deep three. And he gets Taylor. it to go. No problem on the three from Taylor. Taylor's got 58. I mean, no comment, but this is just unreal. Manton, the pass to Stevens. Here's Pritchard. The pass to Stevens. Five on the clock. The fader. Rebound Andre Drummond. Drummond's got eight rebounds in this game. Yet another bucket. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Taylor. Pritchard passes to Stevens. Pass to Banton. The tray. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's the three. Doesn't go that time. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the Bulls defense has been good, a lot Andre of these turnovers Drummond. have been unforced. First personal foul. First one falls for him. And the Bulls making a change here. The line. Vucevic has checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Taylor who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls. Shoots the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Banton's got five rebounds tonight. Pritchard passes to Banton. Here's Pritchard. 
poked away. He swipes the ball away again. And, and you got to be careful around him. So you know, Greg, he's been coming up with some incredible steals so far. First, oh, the first official ball. ball. First and free throw ball. missing. Half Chicago calls timeout. Yeah, he, he's I shaking up a bit. No so choice but to take a timeout and let him get Time some out. medical attention. Chicago. Let's see which section can be the loudest for a free teacher. Ah! He hits the second from the line. And the Celtics with possession here. about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Steffens. Craig defending. Tries again. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Remain Boston may get a switch here. Hauser's check in. To the lineup for the Celtics. Sam Hauser. Here's Steffens, Craig defending. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Taylor. Now here's Taylor, the fast break opportunity. And again, that's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Pass to Hauser. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pritchard gets the bucket. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Let's it go from deep. Chicago now working with a new shot clock. Basket, good. Just a stellar rebounder, Vooch. Look, he relishes getting those extra offensive rebounds. Pass to Banton. Here's Hauser. The pass to Pritchard. Shot clock at five. And it's good for two. Pritchard's got seven points here in this quarter. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. Taylor. Drills it from outside. Taylor. Keep riding that Three hot points. hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. The Celtics have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Banton. Passes it to Stevens. Again, the Celtics good for two. Stevens. The Bulls have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Down low, here's Taylor. Again, Taylor. what an avalanche! And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Here's Pritchard. Tipped away. It's stolen by Taylor. A finish. And Taylor. yep, another basket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Here's Pritchard, covered by Taylor. Pritchard hits the bucket. Pritchard's got nine points now in just the second half. Some nice ball movement here by the Bull. Good. Nicholas Taylor in front right now Assist because of him. He keeps Taylor. drinking these shots at a ridiculous clip. Boston's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Pritchard. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Taylor. Chicago's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. From the arc, connects oh, again yeah, from Taylor. distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. For Boston, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Manton, the pass to Stevens. Here's Cornette for three. Taylor with the rebound. 
Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. And the one-hand slam Assistant just looks so pretty Jordan when it's in his Brady. hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Here's Banton to end the run. Great D that time from Vucevic. And another fast break chance here for the Bulls. Here we go. Taylor. Oh, and the dunk by Taylor. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. The Celtics shooting 40% in the fourth. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Benton. Here's Pritchard, and he's good on the three ball. Pritchard's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Celtics. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Here's Taylor, and again Taylor. for three. You can tell he is feeling it. Kevin, he's on fire. The Celtics are gone, 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Taylor. Launches it. And got it! Another basket. And there it is! 82 points! And this is a game that he will never forget. Pass to Hauser. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Taylor. And another one falls. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. They're struggling to keep up. And we'll see if they can turn things around, Kevin, on this trip. They can't continue to come up empty. Here's Banton. Great D that time from Vucevic. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And the best if I want. The assist, assist totals, Kevin, to just continue Taylor. to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Pritchard. And he's started by Taylor. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them. This quarter is special. Here's the pass to Dosuma to the wing right side. Taylor inside. Jordan carries Taylor. it down low. This is scary because he's Curry. just been a matchup Curry. nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at it. Passes it to Stevens. Pass to Hauser. Here's Steffens. Pass to Hauser. Six on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. Cornette. Great positioning on the putback. Hard work and soft hands. Guys, that, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Time Going out. for the tip in. The Chicago calls timeout. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, The Natural. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Here's Taylor. Good. Great Jordan, play by Williams Taylor. to set it up. Four, three. Williams has got three assists now in this one. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. And another steal for him. And he's now tied for third most steals Taylor. in a playoff game. Exhausting them with his constant hounding. You're right. The effort level, just amazing. Absolutely the prettiest play 
in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now the pass to Ben. Passes it to Pritchard. Just five to shoot. Austin needs to get off his shot. No good from Clark. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away in. And Taylor with the stuff. And he's Assisted. doing it all himself. Shouldering the offensive load in effortless fashion right now. So it's Boston now. Nabbing another steal. Out of and the steals numbers. Boston just ball. incredible. And, and GA for a single playoff game, the third most steals in NBA history. We've got 155 left in the fourth. Here's Banton. To the left side wing. Pass to Pritchard. And they get it. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Williams has got eight rebounds in this game. To the left wing. Here's Taylor. And Drummond with the jam. Drummond. And now we can start talking about game four. What a magnificent effort and, and really a significant victory for Chicago. It was a standout. He swipes the ball away again. Again and again, he finds a way to seize possessions away. He's amazing. And now he's tied for second all-time GA and steals for a postseason game. Pass to Waters. Back to Taylor. And the layup's good Jordan off the glass. Taylor. And they came in determined to Waters. take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. And as it should be, to be this dominant on another team's floor, look, when you go home, you're going to go home feeling good. Here's Pritchard, covered by Taylor. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First personal foul. And he knocks Second down the first foul. one. At the line. And so he makes both from the line. There's 45 seconds left in the game. Right side, Taylor. And he drops Taylor. it in from the low post. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put... And another steal for him. And his unbelievable run of steals continues. Wow. Now tied for the most ever in a playoff game. And you can't call it carelessness by the offense at this point. His activity level is nabbing another steal. And he's answered the moment with one of the all-time great defensive performances Boston. I've ever won. And great on the attack. He has now set a new single-game playoff record for steals. And you take a step it's back. Amazing what we're seeing from him. Well, the steal total making history tonight in the playoffs, imposing his will here on hostile ground. Yeah, the way he's been able to get a read on the ball is outstanding. You don't put up steal numbers like this without being special. Ah! Cornette passes to Hauser. From deep. And the three ball is good. Sam Hauser. 11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And here is Taylor. And out of bounds is the Celtics gain possession. Boston ball. takes this one and by a big That's margin the end of the you game. have to think at this point up three zip so it's only a matter of time now Let's Greg until this series it. is in the books Please you know this victory all but we'll see you next the deal. as strong as they look throughout this game and this series I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four and so this one is in the books we hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals this is